Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you step by step how to create a Spring Boot project in Visual Studio Code IDE. Well, Visual Studio Code IDE don't have a inbuilt support for Spring Boot. We have to install the extension in order to create a Spring Boot project in a Visual Studio Code IDE. Well, here are the prerequisites to develop a Spring Boot application in Visual Studio Code IDE. So, first of all, you need to have a Java JDK installed on your machine. Next, you need to install extension pack for Java. Next, you need to also install Spring Boot extension pack. So make sure that you have installed Java JDK on your machine. Next, these are the two extensions that we are going to install once we open the VS Code. So in order to open the VS Code in you know Windows operating system, go to the search menu and here just type Visual Studio Code and open the VS Code ID. And here basically we need to install the extensions. So go to the extensions tab over here and here just search for extension package for java okay so extension pack for java so this is the extension that we are going to install in order to support java in vs code and notice here this extension is from microsoft okay so you can trust this extension because this extension is from Microsoft, which is a brand, right? So next, go ahead and click on install over here. Well, notice here this extension pack includes these extensions. You can also install these extensions individually, or you can install all these extensions just by clicking this install button. So just wait a couple of seconds to complete the installation. Well, notice here extension for Java extension is successfully installed. Next, let us install one more extension that is Spring Boot Extension Pack. Notice the name Spring Boot Extension Pack. So this pack is from VMware, again which is a brand so you can trust this extension. Okay, so this extension pack has these three extensions Spring Boot and then Spring Boot Tools and then Spring Boot Dashboard. You can also install these extensions individually or you can just click on this install button to install all these extensions. Okay, just click on this install. So just wait a couple of seconds to get installed. So notice here the extension is successfully installed. Alright, so let us close the welcome pages and go to the explorer over here. In order to create a Spring Boot project, what you can do is you can go to the view and just click on this command palette and here just search for Spring Initializer. Okay, so here just choose this Spring Initializer, create a Maven project. And here let us choose the Spring Boot version 3.4.0. This is the current stable and latest version. Next, let us choose the programming language Java. And here let us give group id net.javaguides you can give any group id that you want and just hit enter next let us give the artifact id spring boot app next let us choose packaging type as a jar file next let us choose java version 23 which is the latest version and here let us choose the dependencies so just type spring web well we are going to build a simple rest api to test the setup for that we are going to choose Spring Web Dependency. Well, we can use Spring Web Dependency to develop the RESTful web services as well as Spring based web applications. And this Spring Web Dependency includes Apache Tomcat as a default embedded servlet container. Okay, so just choose this Spring Web Dependency. If you want to choose other dependencies like Spring Data GPA or the JDBC drivers, you can just search it over here. Okay, perfect. Next. Once you select the dependency, next click on enter and here we need to choose the folder where the project will download. In my case, I am going to choose the desktop. Next click on the generate into this folder button. Alright, you can see here successfully generated location and just click on this open button to open the folder in a you know, VS code. Next you will get a pop up. Do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? So click on yes. 
perfect now we have successfully created spring boot application in vs code okay next go to the pom.xml file and here you can review the dependencies java version spring boot version etc next go to the src folder and just expand the package and here you can see the spring boot main entry point class so we use this class to run the spring boot application all right and you can see this class has a main method so we can run the spring boot application by using this main method next let us create a rest api for that so here we are going to create a file so just click on this new file and let us give file name as welcome controller dot java next let us make this class as a spring rest controller by annotating this class with at rest controller annotation next within this class let us create a method public string let us give method name as welcome within a method let us have return statement and let us give some string like welcome to spring boot world something like that now we have a method next let us make this method as a rest api by annotating it with at get mapping annotation next let us configure the url for this rest api slash welcome perfect now we have built a simple rest api using spring boot next in order to run the spring boot application just click on this icon that is run java icon and it asks for the class so just choose this spring boot app application because this class has a main method right so just choose this class well notice here our spring boot application is up and running and it, it it is asking again do you want to allow public and private networks to access this app just cancel it now our spring boot application is up and running in vs code id okay you can see the spring boot application is running on you know embedded tomcat server on port 8000 next let us go ahead and let us test the rest api so go to the browser in a new tab just type localhost colon 800 slash welcome i hit enter and there we go you can see the response welcome to spring boot world and if you go to the vs code and go to the rest api and you can see the response of the rest api welcome to spring boot world so this is what we got in the response it means that we have successfully set up the spring boot project in vs code id well let me recap what we have done in this video we have installed two important extensions that is extension pack for java and one more is spring boot extension pack okay so these are the two important extensions so in order to support spring boot in vs code you have to install these two packages okay great i will see you in the next video